get another edition of morning news where we give you a rundown of what is in our local press and also what we have on our online news platforms. My name is Nicole Matsiwa and joining me is my lovely host, Marvelous Chibagiri. A very good morning to you all. Welcome once again to Tag My TV and this is morning news. So on our headlines from the Herald, it reads, ED, Belarus, Envoy, hold crucial talks. Still on the Herald, it reads, who warns of dangerous missiles come back? Still on the same paper, our work on Mugabe Muslim begins. I hope I read that correctly. Still on the Herald, it reads, high court judges blast low codes, prosecutors. Moving on to the news day, doctors confront ED paralyzed hospitals. Moving on to the daily news, it reads ED in tight sport over kidnappings. And from our online news platforms, which you can access on www.technomag.co.w, um, outage over eco cash withdrawal charges misdirected. Still on our side, Rwanda introducing electric motorcycles. Zach investigating EcoCash is another headline from the from Technomag. RBZ finally warms up to cryptocurrencies. And from also from Technomag TV, which we will give you, I think, as we go on. Um, now for the news in detail. Um, we'll begin with the Herald, uh, and it says, who warns, who warns of dangerous measles um, come back, is uh, another headline on the Herald. And the story there reads, Zimbabwe will next week hold a national measles uh, rubella vaccination campaign for children under the age for children under the age of five, following a dangerous measles comeback, the World Health Organization has revealed vitamin A supplementation will also be administered to children during the campaign. In a report, WHO said the vaccinations and vitamin A supplementation will be administered to children aged between 6 and 59 months on September 23 to September 27. And I quote, ensure all children, uh, sorry, I'll take uh, I'll take that again. Uh, ensure all children aged between 6 and 59 months uh, below 5 years are taken to the nearest vaccination point during the vaccination period. So parents, guardians, please do take your kids, um, all those that are under 5 years, for these vaccinations. High court judges blast lower courts, um, prosecutors. Two high court judges blasted prosecutors prosecutors from the law court saying they lacked enthusiasm and determination in their approach for, to legal matters resulting in convicted persons being acquitted on appeal. Justices Ma Maxwell Takuva and Thompson Mabikwa took turns to berate prosecutors and the magistrates court saying they lacked a better understanding of the law as evidenced by concessions by the state on appeal or at the high court. Wow getting dismissed because you lack enthusiasm. <laughs> that is brutal. Um, still on the Herald, uh, work on Mugabe Masalam begins. And this story reads, the construction of a Muslim of former President Robert Mugabe has started with preparatory work at, uh, with preparatory work at the site underway, while work on the design is still to be completed. Local government, public works, and national housing, uh, Deputy Minister uh, Jennifer Mklanga said, and I quote, what the nation might want to know is that work has has commenced. In as far as the design is concerned, yes, work is still being done. The cost will only be known once we have the design. So that's what the minister, the deputy minister, is saying there that they can't even tell us how much it's going to cost because, you know, the design itself is not complete. And going on to the news day, doctors confront ED, paralyzed hospitals. Zimbabwe's public health delivery system ground to a halt 
yesterday as doctors countrywide down tools with the Harare best medical professionals marching to President Emerson Munangagwa's Munumutapo offices demanding the safe return of their leader Peter Magombei who was allegedly abducted by suspicion state security agents on Saturday night. Hundreds of doctors and radiographers holding placards marched through the central Harare before riot police allowed a handful of the protesters to, re to present a petition at Munangagu's office vowing to continue with the industrial action until Magombe has been accounted for. Hmm. So I'm sure this will probably be going on for the rest of the week until Dr. Magombe returns because they're saying, no, Peter, no work. But they're actually attending two emergency cases. ED in tight sport over kidnappings as latest abduction coincides with UN mission on abuses is another headline from the Daily News. And the story reads, as the special United Nations human rights Sorry, I will take that again. As the Special United Nations Human Rights Envoy he was arriving in Zimbabwe yesterday for his for its key for his key mission, President Emerson Mnangagwa and his government were facing fresh questions over the commitment of the rule of law following the res re resurgence of abductions in the country. The Daily News reports. Still on the daily news, it reads lukewarm reception for Mugabe's body. The body of the late former president, Robert Mugabe, arrived at his home village of Kutama yesterday, where it, was surpri where it surprisingly got a subdued reception compared to the world since witnessed at Rufaro Stadium in Harare last week. At the same time, Mugabe's family announced that his body will be dried up before his burial at the National Euros Acre in about three weeks' time. This comes as the late liberation towards family has ignited controversy after it demanded that he be buried in the mausoleum and, and a special structure that will house his tomb. So he's gonna get the gonna driver. Hmm. Preserve it. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's already preserved? And I, I will not comment. Okay, moving on to the Herald VP Mohadi to open science arts festival. Uh, the story reads, Vice President Mohadi, Campbell Mohadi, is expected to officially open the second edition of the National Annual Science, Sports, Arts uh, and Arts Festival in Blawayo on Friday. Primary and Secondary Education Minister Professor Paul Mav Mavima said yesterday. Um, so uh, that is, it's going to happen in Blawayo, um, the festival. And so on the Herald, the ex-State House Director sweats for bail. Former Principal Director of State Residences in the Office of the President and Cabinet, Douglas Tepfuma's bid for freedom hit a brick wall yesterday after our provincial magistrate, Mr. Osia Mujaya, dismissed his application for bail on the basis that there had been no changes to circumstances relating to the case. Tepfuma allegedly abused his office by facilitating the importation of several vehicles duty fee. In his application for bail on the basis of changed circumstances, Tapfuma, through his lawyer, Mr. Jonathan Samukange, submitted that the case did not constitute a serious offense and should attract a level 13 fine. Hmm. Well, moving on, uh, still on the Herald, fuel prices up. The Zimbabwe Energy Regulatory Authority yesterday announced an increase in fuel prices due to the free on board price movement. Blend petrol, which was selling at $9.95, is now $10.41, uh, while diesel is now $10.89 from $10.42. Um, the FOB ref FOB refers to costs involving in shipping the product. So I'm assuming that this FOB has increased, which has also led to petrol and diesel on the increase. And off to and drives exchange rate up, says RBZ. 
The depreciation of the Zimbabwe dollar against the US dollar and other currencies in recent weeks is a result of the closure of the tobacco marketing season, which is a major foreign currency enough for the country. This was said by Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe Deputy Governor Dr. Kupuki Lemlambo, who was standing in for RBZ Governor Dr. John Mangunga when he appeared before Parliam Parliament's Public Accounts Committee. He said the country relied on four major foreign currency enders tobacco, gold, crumb, and platinum. So 16 years uh, in my year in my USA. It's because the tobacco is a little just in case you had questions. How can I have questions after this? <laughs> I mean, really. A Mashingo agricultural show ready to roll is another story from the Herald. Preparations for Mashingo's premier, premier agriculture event, the Mashingo Provincial Agriculture Show, to be held on the 26th to 29th of this year, and now at an advanced stage. An official said yesterday in an interview, Mashingo Show Society President Mr. Philip Mauta said they they have since completed the servicing of stands for exhibitors ahead of the event. So, doesn't Mashingo make a date with the Mashingo Agri Show? Magombe, you went to all night prayer hospital memo reveal. I have a question, but I'm I'm not gonna ask. Please it. wait for it. Yeah. Missing a doctor, Peter Magumbe bade his housemate farewell and told him to lock up the door since he was going for an all night prayer. An internal, internal hospital memo has exposed. According to our Central Hospital internal memorandum dated September 16, 2019, and addressed by, to the Chief Executive Officer Dr. Tinashe Dobi by the Human Resources Department, Dr. Magumbe left home intentionally. On the 15th of September 2019, we visited Dr. Magombe's residence on number 2915 Budiro 2 Arari. On our way, we passed through Budiro Police Station where Dr. Jena, his housemate, was reporting the case. From there, went to their house where Dr. Jena showed us Dr. Magombe's bedroom. On the bed, there was laptop and clothes Dr. Magombe had removed that night with the memo. So what are they trying to say? Well, we're trying to say that he's not abducted or anything. Wherever he is, he left willingly. That's what they're trying to say, <laughs> according to the memo. Still on the Herald, inflation slows okay. again. Guys, why is this inflation s slowing down? I, I feel like it slows down, you know. Can you read the story? Yeah. But still, I just have to say that. It seems like it just... But anyway, well, the story reads, the month-on-month -month inflation rate for August 2019 slowed to 18.07% after shedding 2.97% um, points on July's 21.04%. 21 uh, According to the Zimbabwe National Statistics Agency, this means that prices are measured by all items consumer price all items uh, consumer price index increased by an average rate of 18.07 percent from July 2019 to August 2019. So I'm basically. And on the news day, Ramaphosa reflects on Boeing or Dill at Mugabe funeral. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has revisited his unfortunate Saturday experience in front of thousands of mourning Zimbabweans who booed him for continued xenophobic attacks on foreigners in his country. Ramaphosa had his condolence speech during late former President Robert Mugabe's memorial at the National Sports Stadium, drowned in booze by Zimbabweans. He was forced to apologize for the xenophobic attacks. However, on his return home, Ramaphosa took time to reflect on the experience, telling his compatriots to behave humanly towards other nationals. It's not something, you shouldn't even get to a point where you actually have to tell your people that you need to behave humanly towards other people. Moving on to the news day, Pali Queens rock RBZ payments. Parliament yesterday slammed the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe RBZ for carrying out quasi-fiscal activities outside its mandate and using taxpayers and pensioners money to fund government activities. RBZ governor, uh, RBZ deputy governor, 
Kupukile Mlambo was yesterday at pains to explain uh, before the parliament how the central bank issued 2.7 billion US dollars through unallocated reserves as well as 600 63.8 million US dollars uh, treasury bills in 2017 and 2018 to President Emerson Mnangagwa's ally Kudakwashi Takwire of Sakunda Holdings to command agriculture. This whole command agriculture thing is just in the papers for a long time. ED Mugabe t shirts divide mourners. Zanu PF factional fights nearly murdered former President Robert Mugabe's largely low key funeral wake at Murumbezi Gross Point in Zimba yesterday as the late leader's followers protested against distribution of President Emerson Munungago's branded t shirts at the event. Mugabe's sympathizers had brought party regalia bearing the icons' pictures but were dwarfed by youths aligned to Munungagwa who had bells of brand, of brand new regalia. But why? Why were they distributing E D regalia at a Mugabe funeral? Well mm -hmm. still on the same paper, ZBC bosses bail ruling today. Harare Magistrate Vongai Muchuchuti yesterday said she would today make her bail ruling on two Zimbabwean Broadcasting Corporation bosses, Patrick Mavura and Benania Shumba, who stand accused of defrauding their employer of 200,000 US dollars in advertising revenue. So their bail ruling is today. RG Mugabe Airport facelift 10% complete. The Civil Aviation Authority of Zimbabwe CARS has indicated that modernization of the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport is on course despite the worsening economic challenges. The project being carried out by Chinese contractor Diangsu International is expected to be complete by 2021. Why are there always Chinese contractors doing those things? Well. Fresh calls for price controls is another story um, from the Newsday. Industrialists and economists have said the Competition and Tariffs Commission uh, Commission's suspension of price and commodity monitoring program has led to a drastic increase in price in prices of basic commodities such as maize meal, rice and flour, putting them beyond the reach of many. The Grain Millers Association of Zimbabwe in May signed a memorandum of understanding with the Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers, agreeing on a model of pricing of basic goods to protect consumers from being shortchanged by unscrupulous retailers. Because how do you sell the sale of retail going for $17 and okay for $20 in your shop? Hmm. 76 xenophobia, xenophobia victims back home. The body of a Zimbabwean man who died during the recent xenophobic attacks in South Africa and 76 Zimbabweans affected by the mayhem were yesterday repatriated back home through Page Bridge. The 76 were the first batch of the 171 who were expected to come back home voluntarily. One of those 26 of those 26 were children, including the deceased Isaac Sutole, six month old baby, fortunate. About 72 were aboard two buses, one headed for Harare and the other for Bulawayo. Wow, I, I, I bet this makes South Africans so much proud. I mean, they just left that, that child without a parent how do you live with yourself after doing something like that but we think we thank god for the safe return of those who are actually Indeed. returning home for Lutari. and also we applaud the government of actually making it happen um so that everyone else who volunteered to come back home come back home safely um on uh, moving on to the news day treasury instructed us to pay 660 million us dollars to sakunda I think we read this a little bit of this earlier on. And the story reads, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, RBZ, yesterday told Parliament that it paid 663.8 million US dollars worth of treasury bills to Sakunda Holdings owned by Fuo Mogu Kudata Gwirei under instruction from the minister, from the Ministry of Finance, RBZ Deputy Governor Kubuki Lem Mlambo, who was in the company of two other central bank officials, made the revelation while 
presenting oral evidence to the Parliament Public Accounts Committee on Payments for Command Agriculture. Tagwira, you are Jigajena, square off in US 3.6 million dispute. The High Court will this Thursday preside over a US 3.6 million dollar dispute between Legislature Mayor Wajiga Jena and business mogul Kudakwashi Tagure emanating from a Bosch truck hire deal. Wajiga Jena's company Mayor Logistics Private Limited sued Tagure and his famous Kunda Logistics Limited for allegedly failing to remit four truck horses and tankers prejudicing him of US three million six hundred and eleven thousand one hundred and ninety-five and twenty-four cents. So moving on to Technomag outrage, outrage over eco cash withdrawal charges misdirected. Um, that's another story um, that is uh, on Technomag, which, by the way, you can access on www.technomag.co.zw. And the story reads, yours truly... Okay, so this is, this is, you know, it's more like a Monday blues village, so it's, it's of, uh, a, a more uh, personal opinion. Yours truly has always been itching to throw his two cents on the whole issue, paying premiums to access cash from eager cash agents. In fact, the rates from the informal market have um uh okay so basically what the story is saying that um it's on how people are really feeling about cash premiums you know you have to pay extra for you for you to get your own money um i i, I believe eager cash is somewhat 50 60 percent goes as far as getting 60 percent for you to get your money so which is a little bit ridiculous so um this article will give you why some of those things uh, are happening and if we can actually blame eco cash from you know from charging uh, from all these agents from actually charging that um, much amount of um, premiums Okay, so the last story from Technomag um, Rwanda introducing electric uh, Motorcycles so you can still check this one out also on Technomag so um, So that was it uh, from us uh, me and my lovely co-host and also the crew behind the scenes so please do remember to like us on our facebook page and also follow us on twitter and subscribe on youtube so that whenever we're live you just get a notification and you can come through uh and join us in conversation as we go through everything that will be in our local papers and also on our news platform so my name is nicole madziwa stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day